I'll get the 80 first. If you have colors, you use colors. 80, I'll say yeah. 2. 80 is an even number. So it'll be 2 times 40. So I'll circle the 2 because the 2 is a prime number. 40 is an even number. Some people call it 40. And I'll put it 2 times 20. And I'll circle the 2 because it's an even no it's a, a prime number. 20 is the same as the reason why I'm using 2 is because it divides 2 divides into 20 without a remainder. You can use 4 and 5, but you have to keep breaking down. Whenever there's an even number, I use 2. So it's 2 again and 10. And 10 will split into 2 and 5. So 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. So I will stop there. So that means 80 now is equals to how many twos are there? One, two, three, four. So two times two four. times two times two times five. I write it expanded like this for a particular reason. And then I'll do the same with 84. 84, I will split it into two. Because it's an even number, I always have it. That's a trick. When it's an even number divided into two, half of 84, what's half of 84? 42. 42, correct. Mm -hmm. Now, 42 is an even number. I do half of 42. Half of 42 is? 21. 21, perfect. So now we've got two. And 21 now, which two? Prime numbers can divide into eight, three and seven. and seven. Seven. Three and seven. Three is a prime number. Seven is a prime number. So once I've split them, I would write 84 as two times two times three times seven. Now, to find what we call HCF highest common factor. I will look for what is found in both of them. There's two there we found in both of them. There's uh, this other two found in both of them. What else is found in both of them? Three. Is that all? Yes. So I will multiply the two that is found in both of them, the two times the two. That gives you four. So the highest common factor is four. Now, the next thing I want to find is what they call the LCM, the lowest common multiple. The formula for lowest common multiple is multiply the highest common factor times the rest. Now, this formula, you must remember it. That's why I highlighted in pink. You must remember it. That means, that highlight means you must memorize it. How do we get the highest common factor? We found the highest common factor from above. What was the answer? Four. You see that highest common factor from there? Now, times the rest. What does the rest mean? The other numbers that we didn't use. We didn't use that two there. We didn't use that two. We didn't use this three. We didn't use this five. We didn't use this seven. So it will be times a two times a two times a three times a five times a seven. This one, you don't do it in your head. You put it in a calculator. So in a calculator, four times two, four times two is eight times two times three times five times seven. That gives you 1,680 as the lowest common multiple. So if you copy all of that, and then you're going to do example exactly like that and write yours neatly like that. Presentation is very important. So you write that down. <laughs>